What's up, YouTube? Ragnar and I on the electric motorbike. We're going to zoom around and do a farm tour of Ragnar's favorite things. The Ragnar Farm Tour! Nice! Grass is starting to grow, finally. Okay. What are you looking for? Insects under the rocks? Yeah, I saw many. What and sort of insects have you been collecting? I so really, really. Can we see? <laughs> Ragnar is very interested in insects at the moment. And he's found a little centipede. And a big slug. And a big slug. We don't want slugs. Oh, there's a little slug in there. Good job. You are an expert insect collector. You want to see what it is in the other box? Yep, we do. Here, there are many small insects. And here is the food for them. Okay, you've here. put in some food. I can see a little blue beetle. Wow. They were. And another black beetle. The Espalier apple trees are just coming into leaf. Cleaning grey crates. We have a lot of grey crates. Washing more and more and more. All the things around the farm, egg crates, plastic crates, collection crates, everything needs regular cleaning to keep it hygienic and in good state. Big day of cleaning. So I've spent all day on the computer to Norwegian university students who do the only regenerative agriculture training in the university. Got two days with them. Tomorrow we're focused on market gardening and they're in lockdown. So everyone's at homes and nice to see the grass is just starting to grow here. Someone was asking about, do we see season extension from the grazing we've been doing? And yes, we do. We tend to get grass growth three weeks or so before the neighbor's grass starts growing. But anyway, Ragnar wants to show you the chickens. So tell us about what we've got here, Ragnar. Chickens. Chickens. How many chickens? I think I think ten. Ten chickens. Here's ten chickens. What do you think? You think these chickens are quite funny, don't you? Why are they funny to you? Because they only quite not so many feathers. Not so many feathers. Well, it's interesting. Someone asked about that in a video. They asked, why do these birds have bowl patches? Well, one thing you've got to bear in mind is these are little baby birds. They're only five weeks old. So they're very young. And these birds do take a long time to feather out. They're also very hot in their metabolism. They've got a high metabolism, so they get very warm. So they're not cold. But it's mainly just they're quite young. You know, they are growing very fast so they look bigger than perhaps they actually are because they're very very young you've been helping put all these birds out on the pasture haven't you you were helping take them out their crates and you were taking care of them in the brooder as well they do eat now they are small also yeah do you think they're scared to see a tiger no oh i think they were scared by the tiger They've never seen a tiger before, but I think they're doing quite well. They're growing well. I am not the tiger. <laughs> it was too hot. You're getting hot? It's six o'clock in the evening, but this beautiful spring day, sun is really warm. We're out in t-shirts. As I said before, it's easy to get fooled at this time of year. And we're starting to plant the market gardens out. But last year, this exact same thing happened. Then we got a cold spell. It could be snowing in May. It has before, so you never know. But right now, we're really enjoying these summer rays. New growth on the trees. Some hazel here. Just coming into buds. Exciting. Spring returning. Here we can see all the chicken poo. 
This is what makes this enterprise so good for our grass. The grass has only just started growing and they've picked a lot of it up where they've been, but they're leaving so much manure. And that's gonna make our grass grow really good. Ragnar, what's your favorite part about the farm? Uh, it's good. The chickens? What do you want to say to people watching this? Mm, chickens only jump and run. Chickens only jump and run. <laughs> so how long have you been farming, Ragnar? Uh, eight. Ten years? And what's your favorite thing to farm? Do you like growing vegetables, cows, sheep, chickens, eggs? Chicken. Chickens, you're really into chickens. Well, there's lots of work to do for you, young man. What's this water for? Who do you, do you remember who gets this water? Big chickens. The big chickens, the laying hens. There's the eggmobiles down there. We've got chickens coming next week. Are you going to help collect eggs? Do you like um, eating eggs? I like to pick them. You like picking the eggs, but you don't like eating them. Do you like Easter eggs? What's your favorite food that we make at the farm here? Uh, pasta. Pasta? From the pasta trees? <laughs> ah, spiders, you have got a good eye for insects. Wow, grass has started to grow. That's the time of year the cows get a little bit angsty to get out of here. They're in the spruce plantation, a uh, larch plantation. They're still on silage. We like to let the grass grow a bit. We've got a bit more put out here. It's important to let the grass get going a bit. If you graze too early on the land, then you really put back the grass and impact it quite heavily. So we would typically, it depends, if the weather stays like this, I'd hope to get them out in a few weeks. We'll start by grazing them on bales outdoors, but they will naturally prefer to graze the ground before anything else but we're actually got a few bells placed out in our neighbor's land over here and what we'll do because we've got poultry coming in we've got the broilers here but then the layers are coming very soon that they will make quite a big impact at the start of the year so we would rather have the cows on our neighbor's land and graze very quickly through all of that to come back in at a time when our grass is very firmly established its growth for the year that we won't be impacting that too heavy. So I think that's the plan. Daddy. We have to make a grazing plan. Do you know how to make a grazing plan? On the sheet? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit complicated, but you like drawing on it, but we'll make a grazing plan. We'll make a video about that process and the considerations and the process of actually filling a holistic planned grazing chart in. Hey, little sweetheart. Hey. Oh. Do you get a bit intimidated by the cows sometimes? Mm -hmm. They're quite big, aren't they? But you know they're quite gentle too. Trouble is with children and cows is they get a bit jumpy by little people. And it's, it's nothing to do with you, it's all children. I think because you're a bit smaller, they see you in a different way. It makes them a little bit nervous. What are we looking for? Frog spawn. Frog spawn? Whoa, loads. Uh, that jumping thing that is. Wow, there's so much insect life. Look at all those bugs on the water. Yeah, they are. Everything's coming to life now. There's they water are. skaters and they, beetles. They are. That thing, big things on the water is change color spiders. Change color spiders. They only live underwater. No, they are not underwater. I thought they were aquatic. No? No, they are not. Maybe you can find one so we can show it. If they only walk in the water and they really cool. They walk in the water. This pond has really come into its own. A lot of vegetation growing up now. Lily's coming. Crystal clear. Big change color spiders, they can bite. They can bite you? Yeah. Okay, oh, everyone's no. got to watch out for change color spiders. No, not everyone. Only big people. They only bite big people. So you're safe. More frog spawn. Ah, yes, by the pump there. 
Not the pump, the overflow. There's certainly going to be a lot of baby frogs. There's no ducks here now. Saku! Saku loves water. Ragnar, how, how much work is it to have a farm? Quite a lot. <laughs> how hard do you have to work? Quite a lot. What sort of jobs do you do on a day? Like, can you tell people a bit about the, the farm jobs that you do? Mm, look for animals. Mm. You look for insects? Mm -hmm. But you like building things, don't you? Yeah. And you like collecting eggs? Do you like planting vegetables? You do a lot of help with the seeds. I found a lot of chard growing in the fennel and things like that. <laughs> what is this fennel? That's a sedge. These are plants that you can peel inside. It's got this white stuff. If you peel that, you can see the white bit in the middle. Do you want to peel that one? Mm -hmm. I used to spend hours as a child peeling them all. And then you have like a little foam caterpillar. Pretty cool, no? Yeah. Who have we got here? Yeah. These are your little lambs. You're feeling a bit nervous. nervous. What happened before? Did you get bumped by one of the mama sheep? Yeah. Was it pushing you away a bit? Mm, I didn't bump. I didn't look what I was doing. And then I only bam. She came up behind you and bumped you. I didn't see her. Mm -hmm. They're growing big, aren't they? Yeah. They're nearly as big as you. I expect they weigh more than you now. No. They're going to be excited to be running around outside very soon. Then here. They can go outside. Can they? They're going to run and bounce and jump. Look how cute they are. <laughs> Hello, Mama. What is she doing? She's smelling. That's how she investigates. Who are those funny smelling people? Look at this little cutie. <laughs> I'll go do that. Okay, things we're on top of everything. The team here is doing a great job. Feels very relaxed for this time of year. We're ahead of schedule on most things. Magna, what is going on in here? Yeah. What was in here recently? Hands. Hands, and the hands have all gone. And look, there's crops everywhere. Let's see what's in there. It's Mitsuna. There's spiders all over this net, but under here is little Mitsunas. Mustard greens. What are the Giant mustard over there. Ooh, it's insect nets. We've got some more crops hardening off over here under insect net, because this is the time the flea beetles really come out. But they're looking good. You're seeing more insects. Ah, oh, it's not going to be long till it's still a while till we get tomatoes out, but it will transform quickly around here. There's a dead worm. There's often a bit of a frantic rush at this time of year, but it's quite relaxed this year. Things like feels like everything's in order, and everyone's doing a great job. I don't know if you'll make this out, but the insects have really hatched out now. You might be able to make them out in the sun. Last few days, life is really starting up again. This is a saloon space. It's kind of become a market gardener's office. It's a whiteboard relating to all the beds, storage for stuff, garden plants, seed storage, more seed storage, a lot of the row covers, dehydrator, packaging materials, and a piano. Black currants are really Leafing out. Mmm, we'll be able to make some tea. These are old bushes that were here when we came here, weren't they? But Johanna did some good pruning on them because they'd never been looked after. There's a lot of currants that? off these small bushes. That? that looks like a hoverfly. What do you want to say about the workshop? 
Anything to say about in here? Um. Not so much to say. Things pretty normal in here. We've got some tools to test out here. The new Curly's paper pot transplanter. We didn't get to test that last year, but we got all the spring onions to come out. That's a lawnmower for cutting the grass, but the grass has only just started growing. We've got all the supplies. If, if, if Sweden goes on lockdown, we're ready. <laughs> First little rhubarbs. Peaceful evenings. It's been a while since we've been able to be out in t-shirts. Looks empty right now. Totally weed free. We're looking forward to seeing this green up. It's going to be quick. It's going to be lush. Well, gorgeous sunny days. I'm out alone fishing in the shallow water. Got a couple of nice pike. I'm fishing with a heavy spoon in shallow water. Check out that beauty. That's a good sized fish. This one's a little small, but still good for eating. That's perfect for eating. So first fish of the year for the table. Lovely sunny day, good pike. We're in the forest. Chocolate chip cookies, finding insects. <laughs> okay, that's all we've got time for. Hope you enjoyed looking at the farm through Ragnar's eyes. And you can find out a whole lot about our farm through reading our book, Regenerative Agriculture. Have you read it? Did you read my book? No. Did you look at the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> and you can find out a whole bunch about what we're up to in the links below. But that's it for today. See you later.